Hey guys, it's Matt Pittman with Meat Church and welcome back to my outdoor kitchen. Well today I'm going to show you guys how to use all of your brisket trimmings to make beef tallow and this amazing brisket cheeseburger. Hallelujah. Stick around. So when I trim a brisket, I usually end up with quite a bit of good usable meat that we pay good money for, especially on the flat, because I like to trim off the really thin portions to leave me with a brisket that's really nice and even. You can see that in our brisket trim video or even the various brisket videos we have on our channel. So what we've got here today, I've got all of the fat and all of the meat trimmings from two 44 Farms briskets uh, that we just prepared. I've taken the fat and I've kind of chunked it up into little little pieces here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some tallow out of this, and then we're going to make some brisket burgers out of the meat. So we're gonna have no waste at all um, from our brisket today. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this tallow in this pan. I'm gonna tell you, if you've never done this, there's so many good uses for tallow, and this is super simple. Um, there's a lot of trends going around the internet right now with a lot of people using tallow in their brisket cook. Uh, so some people have gone out and they're buying tallow. It's expensive. Honestly, there's no reason to buy it. You should just make it yourself. This will make at least a big mason jar full of tallow, and it's super easy. Ton of uses. I know guys that use this tallow in tortillas. Um, I know, you know, myself, I like to put it in cast iron when we're sauteing our vegetables. You can use it to actually wipe down your pit to keep it from rusting, to season the inside of it. Um, it's a good fat if you're on keto. Tons of uses for it, and it's easy to make. All we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, this fat and we're gonna put it in the pit where we're smoking briskets right now and all day long as it renders down, we're gonna strain it out into a jar and then we're gonna put that jar in the fridge and we're gonna be left with an amazing fat to cook with going forward. Got a couple briskets going in here. I'm just gonna put this tallow down here by the, by the stack. We're running at 250, I'm gonna do that all day. Some people even season it. You can play with it. You can put different things in the tallow. We're just going straight today. So we're gonna check that throughout the day. And now we're gonna get on to making our burgers. All right, guys, the tallow is rendering in the smoker. So let's get to grinding this meat up. By the way, you guys should get yourself a grinder. It's one of the best investments that an outdoor cook can make. So there's full utilization of all the meat you have. If you ever start getting meat that's been in the freezer for a long time, uh, at the end of like hunting season um, or coming up on the next season, you can grind your excess wild game down. Anyway, we've got our made with meat grinder here loaded with our brisket trimming. So I just eyeball a kind of 80-20 mix because I'm gonna make burgers. 80-20 is the best burger to me. We can also mix it with some breadcrumbs and egg and thing to, things to help uh, the patty stick together. But, you know, barbecue joints, we use the trim for sausage. Uh, Valentina's uses it for guisada. You can use it for lots of things. So let's grind all this meat up and let's make some amazing hamburgers. All right, we finished grinding all the brisket up. I think we've got a pretty good 80-20 mix here. I'm gonna add in a couple eggs and a packet of onion soup mix. Great tip for a burger. We'll throw some of our holy cow in here. This is probably, I don't know, north of two pounds. Get it all mixed up. All right, I think that's good and mixed up. We're gonna make smash burgers, so I'm just gonna start to form this into balls. We've got our patties rolled out into balls here and we're gonna get ready to cook. By the way, didn't mention this earlier, this is my custom rosewood block topper where I like to do my raw prep, then I can move this out and finish on my big block that you guys always talk about. We sell both of these in our shop in Waxahachie. But let's get to making this burger. I've got onions, cheese, a buttered bun, or holy cow. Gonna grab a couple of these patties and we're gonna head to the pit. 
All right, guys, we're gonna make a smash burger. You can make this on any flat top or even a cast iron pan, but of course I'm gonna make mine on the deflector plate of my mill scale 94 gallon offset. Hit it with a little cooking spray. I'm also gonna use my mill skill iron grove smasher. There we go. Smash the other one. It's tough to beat a smash burger. All right, I'm gonna season with a little more of our holy cow. Let's top it with some onions. Honestly, it's not possible to put too much onion on this burger. You're gonna lose some on the flip anyway. All right, let's let those cook away and we're gonna flip them here in just a minute and put some cheese on them. All right, let's put our buttered buns in here, get those toasted, and let's flip the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and cheese them now. It's not really possible to cook this too much. And of course, I'm going two pieces. Because like they say, I ain't here to help you lose weight. Ooh, smells good. All right, let's get these buns and burgers off. All the cardiologists. All right, let's get to the cutting board. We got our burger pulled and it looks awesome. So let's check in on that tallow before we bite into this. So we've been rendering this throughout the morning and we're gonna keep doing this throughout the day. So as as you see this liquid gold come on, I'm just pouring it in a mason jar and I'm using a, a napkin here. And you could use a filter or whatever. And just strain this all day long. As it renders down, strain it, fill it in the jar. And then whenever this jar is full, I'm gonna put it in my fridge and that's where we're gonna keep it. And it's gonna stay for several months like this. All right, I'm gonna throw this back in the pit. Oh, by the way, again, when that's full, put it in the fridge. This is what it's gonna look like the next day. This is the uh, liquid gold turned into beef tallow. Amazing. But you know what? That's cool and all, but good Lord. Let's talk about this double smash burger. We're going mustard. We're in Texas, we're going Whataburger mustard. Goodness. Look at that. Well, hey, remember those folks that said we trimmed the brisket a little too aggressively? Well, no, we trimmed it perfectly so that we could make a superior brisket with every bite. And look at that. So now who's the joke on? Sorry, I'm not waiting any longer. I ain't mad at it. Oh my God. That might be the best hamburger I've ever had in my life. Good Lord, that's good. Bam. Well, we'll start our diet next week. Anyway, if you guys like this stuff, 
like and subscribe to our channel, please. Our team's working hard to put out outdoor cooking videos for you guys every week. See you all next time.